All right, all right, Rad Nation. Today we're going to have yet another video on KVP and MA. We've got several videos on the KV and the MA on our channel, but that's because they're super important. It's the thing that you're setting on a day-to-day -day basis on your X-ray or on your CT system that actually determine how the X-rays are going to pass through the patient, how much dose is going to be deposited in the patient. We had the holiday train set up. I was thinking about that actual the engine that pulls all the other trains around with it, right? From that perspective, I wanted to think about the KVP and the and which things those pull around with them. We have our KV and our M, and some of the different areas that we like to talk about is beam quality and beam quantity. Beam quality is actually the shape of your X-ray spectra. That has to do with the relative energy distribution of your X-rays. And beam quantity is actually just how many X-rays you have. Basically the area under the curve for your X-ray spectra. We also have another couple things here. We talk about the contrast and the penetration. The contrast has to do with the relative difference between the X-ray attenuation and the penetration has to do with how much of the X-rays are actually gonna get through the patient. If you have a very large patient and you can't get X-rays through that patient, you're not gonna make a good image at all. So first off, let's talk about the KVP. If you had a train going around, the KVP is actually gonna be pulling and driving all of these things. It's very important to the contrast in your X-ray and CT images, especially for bone and for iodine. The contrast really is going to increase as you go to lower KVPs. It's very important for the penetration. And this is how these two things play off because in order to penetrate the patient, the higher KVP is actually beneficial to penetrate the patient because those higher energy x-rays are more likely to pass through the patient. See our video on the KVP and the x-ray spectrum and then the quantity also changes by the KVP. Both the shape of the x-ray spectrum, which is the quality, and the actual number of x-rays under there, which is the quantity. Both are changing as a function of KVP. Now we talk about the MA instead these things are actually dependent on the MA, the beam quality or the shape of the X-ray spectrum. Is that dependent on the MA? Actually, it is not dependent on the MA, right? The shape of the X-ray spectrum depends on several things having to do with the actual tube material, any filtration that's in the beam, and the KV. The contrast actually has to do with that shape of the X-ray spectrum, the differences in the energies of the X-ray spectrum, but if we just turn our MA up or down, it's actually not going to affect the contrast, right? So the MA is starting to get a little bit lonely here. What we call the penetration, that also is actually not dependent on the MA. If you have a beam which is relatively low energy, if you took a beam which was designed for mammography and you tried to place that beam on a CT scanner through a Wisconsin patient, you're not gonna get any x-rays through essentially because the penetration of that beam is insufficient. Essentially, the MA is actually only driving the beam quantity. So that's why we do the KVP first as our primary knob, and then we come by and we do the quantity second. We drive that by the MA. Also the time will affect the quantity as well. So on our systems, we, a lot of times we'll talk about the mass or the MA times the time. Those two things we can use to change the beam quantity without changing the other properties like the contrast, the penetration, and so forth. My son, Luca, didn't want to participate in the video this time, but I've got breaking news coming in. All right, breaking news, the Space Penguin has won in the game of Tokyo. Today, we just walk through the high-level relationships. It's really important that you understand these and check out our videos on KVP and MA to get more of a detailed relationship of how these actually relate 